She is one of Cleveland's most iconic media personalities. And throughout her career in TV and radio and print and public speaking, Robin Swoboda has shared much of her life with us, including a fight with the disease that impacts one in eight women, breast cancer. Robin is now at her second bout with the disease, and tests indicate that this round will likely be tougher. Monica Robbins now with the latest on Robin's journey. <laughs> Robin Swoboda, always smiling, always finding a reason to laugh. <laughs> even at breast cancer. You've got to have fun with it, you know? I've had hair my whole life, so I don't have hair. You are so beautiful. This is her second bout with the disease. She beat it the first time around and stayed vigilant with her mammograms until the pandemic hit. I didn't get a checkup last year. I didn't, you know, it was like they were not seeing people. They were, you know, telling you to avoid if you, if you could. and. I thought that that meant me. It didn't, but Robin wasn't alone. I seen quite a few patients like Robin who knew they had to come in or knew they were due, but you know, had concerns that they might be putting themselves at risk. By the time she got scanned this July, cancer was back. This tumor was a little bit larger. It measured about 2.1 centimeters. And the lymph node in her underarm did have some cancer cells associated with it. Days later, Robin underwent a MagSeed procedure, a marker smaller than a grain of rice, placed on the tumor site and removed during surgery. I always tell my patients in the operating room, I have essentially a fancy metal detector that helps me hone in and know exactly where the cancer is and in Robin's case where this lymph node was. Robin also had a mammoprint test, which indicates if cancer is low or at high risk for reoccurrence. Robin's is high risk, so chemotherapy and radiation were next. So I just left my first chemo treatment. Among her prescribed chemo drugs, doxorubicin, powerful and incredibly toxic. Still, Robin found reasons to laugh until complications set in. Well, the chemo tried to kill me. And I just had a crazy reaction. My sodium level dropped. Uh, they said they'd never seen that in the you know history of doing uh, chemotherapy. Once recovered, a new plan. As the chemo started to take her hair, Robin took control of the comedy and thank goodness for faith. I have a, uh, a very um, strong relationship uh, with Christ. So if cancer decides to take me, I'm going to be with Jesus. If it doesn't, I get to stay here with Rob and my tight circle of friends and the, the, oh gosh, the people that I don't even know who I feel like I know and love. These are my Facebook friends. <laughs> Meet Pat and Mike, everybody. Her fans and social media followers. She shared nearly every aspect of her journey, hoping to inspire, teach, and well, laugh. I learned to let people help me. The first time I went through it, Nobody knew anything. This time, she's letting people in. Her support team and her followers energize her with encouragement. I just realize what it's all about. I mean, life is about relationships, you know? I mean, that's, that's, that's what life is. I don't look at the past because you're not going that way. Yeah, and tell everybody you love them. My goodness, oh. It's such a gift to be able to make others feel good. Monica Robbins, 3 News. And Robin's family is incredibly supportive, and she mentions Rob, too. You heard her say that, and you saw Rob there. He's someone special who came into Robin's life just before her most recent diagnosis with a connection to the journey she's facing. Monica will have that story for us next Wednesday, right here on What's Next. Robin Soboda, we love Robin so much, and of course, we wish her the best. And, and she is just one of the most genuine people, one of the funniest people that she'll ever meet. She's never known a stranger, yeah. and if someone she's talking to doesn't know who she is they do when she leaves she, they certainly do. <laughs> she is so amazing and she's also a big fan of a uh, cheesy biscuits from a certain uh, <laughs> seafood restaurant I, I know about so robin wishing you love cheesy biscuits and a full recovery very soon first round will be on russ there you go there we go hey, cheesy keep biscuits. them coming <laughs>